Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a normal difficulty flail, uh, which actually does have some interesting effects, and it is known as the General's Tando Laga. Uh, more often than not, though, this flail actually ends up left in the dirt, and it's not necessarily because it's a bad flail. Um, it's really just because it drops all the time, like pretty much everywhere, and, uh, and I've never had any issue finding one. In fact, usually I find like two or three of the dang things and uh, end up throwing them away, because whenever I need one, it always seems to pop up. Um, the General's Dando Laga does have a rather large damage range from 2 to 58, and um, that means that it does have a rather high maximum, but a rather low minimum, and, uh, and the average tends to be somewhere in the middle. As you can see, 24 to 319 is a pretty high range, and we're looking at more like probably around like 150, 160 damage per hit. Uh, but every now and then you hit for relatively nothing, and every now and then you hit for pretty large numbers, which is kind of how flails work. Uh, flails are also relatively fast weapons already, so it's just very nice to have a increased attack speed on a flail, uh, which means that this weapon does actually hit very, very nicely as far as speed is concerned. Uh, we also have 20% increased attack speed on this in addition to the very fast nature of the flails, and uh, and that means that it's going to attack even faster. Uh, we have 60% enhanced damage on this, which is relatively low, um, and that means it's probably good to upgrade rather poorly. Uh, but it does have a uh, variable on the enhanced damage as well of 50 to 60 um, it also has an additional added damage, which further magnifies the um, the 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 range of the weapon, um, which is one to twenty. So it's literally one min. So it goes from one damage to two damage, and then it adds twenty to the maximum. So it goes very nicely um, to fifty eight damage on the max. Um, it also has a very nice 5% mana steal per hit, uh, which is absolutely excellent for a low-level uh, weapon like this. And uh, mana steal is just great to have on low-level melee characters because it just it alleviates so many issues. Uh, we also have slows target by 50%, which is massive, and that means that every monster that you're fighting um, is going to have relatively slow return damage. Um, if you're slowing every monster around you by 50%, then, well, guess what? They're just not going to be able to fight back as effectively. Um, we also have 25 defense on here, which is kind of nice, uh, especially for a low-level character. Um, and it does multiply depending on what kind of character you use it on. So, like, if you were to use two of these on, like, a, a Frenzy Barbarian or something like that, um, you could get a very nice plus 50 defense, which would get multiplied by your Iron Skin, um, as well as multiplied by your Shout ability. Um, if you're a Paladin, it could get multiplied by your Holy Shield, and so forth and so on. Um, so, the 25 defense actually does work out to be a little bit more than you might think it otherwise would be. Um, and then, of course, because it is a mace class weapon, uh, we do have a 50% off weapon ED to de undead monsters, uh, which makes it very nice. And at level 21, believe it or not, General's Tando Laga is actually a pretty amazing little item. It works out very nicely. Um, you can find it in the ethereal form, um, and it does have 2 to 77 damage, but because of the way that this weapon works with the minimax and the relatively low ED, the ethereal version doesn't really have a huge buff over the non-ethereal version, uh, which is kind of sad. Now, of course, the uh, thing about this particular weapon is that um, it's very, very fast, right? It's extremely fast. Um, but it only has 30 durability. Um, and, and I pointed this out in one of my videos um, a while back where I was basically saying, you know, hey, these items um, need a durability revamp. A lot of the items in this game need a durability revamp. And this is one of them specifically that is designed around very fast attack speed but has relatively low durability. And I feel like the General's Tando the God really needs at least like two or maybe even three times the durability that it current ha currently has to be an effective weapon. Um, and it's one of the biggest downsides of this weapon is that it breaks all the time. Um, and of course, the ethereal version is going to break and stay broken <laughs> for forever. Uh, now, of course, you can upgrade this weapon to the... Uh, exceptional and elite tiers and i do believe it actually upgrades very well to the exceptional tier if i remember correctly um, so we're going to need a Ral rune a soul rune and a perfect emerald and that's going to bring us from the general's tando laga flail 2 to 58 uh, 35 dex 41 strength level 21 to the general tando laga nout uh, which is 21 to 76 as you can see we got a nice little bump in the low end damage um, and uh, and the top end went up a little bit, so a little bit 
smaller range, which is definitely nice. Um, and then we get 73 decks, which is not bad, and 82 strength, which is also not bad. Uh, so very, very nice. And it only went up to level 30, so 9 level increase. As you can see, the General Stando the God does very well upgraded one tier to the exceptional tier. And can definitely be useful for a uh, Paladin, a uh a frenzy barbarian or any other character who just needs a good one-handed weapon um all the way up probably to about mid nightmare uh, mid nightmare it's probably going to start to fall off and you're going to need something a little bit better um usually around like act four that's when things start to get really tough in nightmare and you kind of have to, to start upgrading equipment um one thing you're going to notice with this um is that like I said, it breaks all the time, and you're going to be running back to town all the time, and you're going to be eager to replace it with something that doesn't break all the time. Um, especially if you are a Zeal Paladin using Fanaticism, a Frenzy Barb, you know, obviously getting your really fast attack speed from Frenzy. Um, none of it really works out very well with a low durability weapon. Um, the Ethereal version can also be upgraded, uh, and that of course goes to the Nout as well, and that goes from 2 to 77, 25 dex, 31 strength, level 21. To 31 to 103, 63 dex, 72 strength, level 30. Unfortunately, because it's ethereal, it's not usable by anybody. Um, there's nobody that can get good use out of this. Uh, none of the mercenaries can use ethereal flails uh, or flails in general or maces in general. So it just kind of has no purpose. Um, I mean, if you wanted to use it on a character that doesn't burn durability, like for instance, a... Um, kicks in, perhaps, or a blade fury sin... Um, you could potentially utilize the ethereal version of it and, uh, and, and get the slowest target by effect. Uh, maybe even get a little bit of the damage on a Blade Fury Sin. But uh, all in all, I just don't really see a good reason to use it on those characters. It doesn't have anything super amazing other than the slowest target 50% that would really make it an option. Um, you can, of course, upgrade this a third time, and I know that it's going to upgrade badly to the Scourge, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, so to do this, you're going to need a Pull Rune, a Lum Rune, and a Perfect Emerald, and it's going to go from the General Stando Laga Nout at 21 to 76 damage, 73 dex, 82 strength, level 30, to the General Stando Laga Scourge, which is 5 to 148 damage, 77 dexterity, 125 strength, level 69. Um... Not a good upgrade at all. The stat requirements aren't too bad. The damage didn't really go up high enough, unfortunately, and that's due to the fact that it has the 60% enhanced. It needs a lot higher than 60% enhanced to be worthwhile for a high-level character. Um, and the Ethereal version, of course, can be upgraded as well from the 31 to 103, 63 deck, 72 strength, level 30. To the 7 to 212 damage, 67 dex, 115 strength, level 69. Um, now, in the ethereal form, that damage is actually probably the closest thing to an actual usable weapon that you could probably get. And uh, But unfortunately, to use it, you would have to put a Zod rune in it. And uh, the unfortunate nature of the Zod rune is that it doesn't actually give you a static level increase. And it kind of just does whatever it wants. So as you can see, the weapon is level 69, and the Zod rune is level 69. And, but putting them together equals level 81. I really don't understand that. Uh, but if you were to have a General Tanto Laga Ethereal and you wanted to upgrade it just for lulls, I mean, it is kind of a pretty weapon. I mean, when you look at it on the character screen, uh, it's just a kind of a cool-looking blue flail. That just It's, it's kind of neat looking. And the Ethereal version is, is also kind of neat looking. Um, it's not really something that you're ever going to upgrade to Tier 3. But uh, just for lulls, let's take a look and see what it would do at Tier 3. Um, do we have Max um, Mace Mastery? We do. Do we have Frenzy? Let's get Frenzy. Because Frenzy is probably what you would use with this anyway. And uh, let's go ahead and Frenzy our way through some monsters real quick, shall we? Uh, Come here, Eldritch. Oh no, slowly dying. As you can see, even fully upgraded, even zotted, it's not really going to be enough for health difficulty. Um, and that's just the unfortunate nature of the General's Tanto Liga. Um, it is better off used in normal difficulty and nightmare difficulty, and once you get to a point where you really 
don't get any more use out of it. Um, you pretty much just drop it on the ground and move on. Um, you don't really need to worry about it so much because the, the normal difficulty to exceptional difficulty is cheap as all get out. A Ral, a Soul Rune, and a Perfect Emerald are extremely easy to come by. Um, you are probably never going to upgrade it to the Tier 3, so you don't have to worry about losing a Paul Alum and a, and a uh, Perfect Emerald. And um, I honestly probably wouldn't socket it. Um, unless you just were really desperate for a good weapon. I mean, you could theoretically socket it with a, a shale rune and make it even faster. So you go to 40% increased attack speed. Uh, but it's just going to break even faster, <laughs> which is not necessarily a good thing. Um, you could take advantage of the speed of the weapon by socketing it with something that has elemental damage. Like, for instance, you could put a, um, not not a poison, because poison doesn't work, but you could put a, like a ruby, a topaz, maybe a, um, a sapphire in there to add elemental damage to it, so that as you hit, you're dishing out elemental damage as well. And since it is so fast in general, especially when used with zeal or frenzy, um, or maybe even on a, a shapeshifter druid with uh, you know the um, the zeal like copy ability, um, it it would work out pretty nicely. Um, I've actually always been really impressed with General Standalaga on a early level character, and I've used it quite extensively on low levels. Um, but um, it's really just because it's so readily uh, available. Um, you find it just about everywhere. And speaking of finding it, let's go take a look on Silo's Pen, and let's see where we can find ourselves a General Stando Laga if we wanted to go hunting for one. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, hi ho the dairy oh, a hunting we will go. So at level 21, we definitely want to find this at normal difficulty, and let's do about 75% magic find, because we're talking about a level 21 character. Um, and as you can see here, probability-wise, Diablo has a huge probability of 1 in 233, um, and Iswal 1 in 3,027. We also have Bale at 1 in, 100, 1 in 251, so it's, this is definitely something that you can find in normal difficulty, but we need lower. Uh, level 21 is more like Act 3, so let's take a look and see how super uniques and see if there's any good monster we can farm around Act 3, Act 2 um, that could drop this for us. Uh, let's see, we got a lot of Act 5 monsters, those are Act 4, so that's Chaos Sanctuary, um, River of Flame, Travancall, so it looks like the Travancall Council can drop it in Act 3, uh, that's actually a pretty easy place to get it, I've actually seen it drop quite a bit from, uh, Galeb, Galeb, Flamefinger, Ismail, Vilehand, Torque, Ice Fist, Brem, Spark Fist, um, those are all really good choices, Farming the Council does seem to be, like, our best bet here, Yes, so it looks like if you wanted to get your hands on this before you got to Hell Difficulty, or, or rather um, Act 4, uh, if you wanted to get a hands on it in Act 3 when you can actually get good use out of it, um, it does look like farming the Council in Act 3 is your best bet, uh, because you could definitely do that before you ever get to Mephisto, you can do it before you complete Act 3. Uh, usually one of your friends just drops you the waypoint for Trav and Call, and you just go farm Trav and Call uh, Council over and over again, which is a pretty easy thing to do. Um, it does look like, though, there's a good option for farming Diablo in normal difficulty for this particular item, if you really wanted to try and get your hands on it early. Um, all in all, though, I don't really think you're going to have too much of an issue getting your hands on the General Stand Olega. It's, it's an item that drops all the time. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when the word has so many syllables. God, how many syllables does this word have? The Gen Earls Tan Do Le Ga. Five, six, seven, eight. It's a freaking eight syllable word. Well, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy eight syllable words.